And Jack Talkington got it to the 35 when it was all said and done. They ran that play to the right, nothing. They ran the play to the left, and he picked up a good yardage. Yeah. Well, when you got number 70, Jonathan Stangle, 6'7", 285 at left tackle, it's nice to run behind him. That helps. Always. Watch out for that kid, man. He's a sophomore. Yes, he is. Really, really? Just looking at that sophomore 6'7", 285. Oh, boy. So a first and 10 clock at 646 and counting here in the fourth quarter. Crusaders on the march. Going to run it again. They have it again. And Talkington has another first down as he gets to the 25 yard line. So a first and 10 for well, they, the Crusaders. Well, they run it three times in a row. Why not? It works. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that concept. <laughs> 21, Damon Kelly on the stop for Lake Cat. Talkington puts Moron in motion, and now what? We got movement. I on think. the defense. Oh, it's going to be on the defense. You're right, Derek. Could it be uh, an offsides? Yep, five yards, takes it to the 20. So first and five now, a little bit more manageable. They definitely are never going to come back. <laughs> it's 11 penalties. Well, that was their fault. <laughs> so first and five, 6 5 and counting here in the ball game. Can the Crusaders put it in the end zone? There's a handoff. Alexander. Oh, it's, he's going. He Anderson. Got five yards, I think. And he got about five. You're right. So Alexander Anderson with the carry. Anderson uh, they're short. One yard short. Yeah. They're going to say he got four on the carry. So brings up just a second down and one. So it's a nice manageable. Run it to the here. left. Run it to the left again. You know what I do, Coach? What? Throw it. Second and one, take a shot in the end zone. Derek, no wonder he's not a coach. <laughs> <laughs> there is Boron in motion. And you're right. Let's just let the big guy <laughs> gallop into the end zone. Jack Talkington for the score. And that touchdown is a nominee for our friends and family credit union rock solid play of the game. Jack Talkington hooting and hollering, giving our guy Derek Philo a <laughs> high five down there as well. As Talkington puts it into the end zone for the score. 5 10. Extra point up, and extra point is good. So. 5-10 to go in the ball game, and the Crusaders have taken a 14-10 lead. We'll be back right after this. Around here, we like to cheer for the local team, and MCTV is here to connect you to the game. MCTV provides reliable high-speed internet and Wi-Fi. From checking scores online to streaming games or watching replays, or even playing the game yourself. We've got the speed you need. Call today to add or upgrade internet service. We're connecting what matters most. MCTV, we go the extra smile. At AltCare, we care about your well-being and the importance of being well. You deserve access to the best in healthcare. With over 16,000 providers in network, AltCare makes it easy for you to find a local provider you can trust. Our services are focused entirely on you. AltCare's team of local physicians, nurses, dietitians, pharmacists, and more are available to help you navigate the healthcare system to receive the quality care you deserve. We take your healthcare personally because you matter. The Pro Football Hall of Fame is the ultimate football fan destination. The Vince Lombardi Super Bowl trophy. The only place in America to see every Super Bowl ring. Your chance to see all 362 bronze busts. 
There is so much more, including a holographic Disney-like theater, the Game for Life, and just 45 minutes south of Cleveland. Purchase your tickets online now. Got authentic barbecue on your mind this fall? Then head to Old Carolina Barbecue because we are the official barbecue of football. Old Carolina is Q done right. Starting with meats cooked low and slow all night on site. Hand pulled to order. There's also competition quality ribs. Five distinct Carolina influence sauces. Scratch made sides like creamy mac and cheese. And the world's greatest baked beans. It isn't football season without barbecue. So visit oldcarolina.com to order online. We'll be waiting for you. <laughs> and back here at Canton Central Catholic, they're still making fun of me for what my uh, play call would have been there, but uh, I stand by that. It's um, good. It's good. <laughs> now you're right. You were Coach. wrong. Yeah, that's okay. I was wrong, but I still stand by it. Yeah. Uh, you give the football to your best player, and that's Jack Talkington. You put him into the end zone. So, Coach, you got the score recap. Number of plays, five. Time of possession, two minutes, 51 seconds. Total yards, 54. A 16-yard TD run by Talkington. Extra point good. Central 14, Mentor Lake Catholic 10. Okay. All right, now Let's they got to play the, defense. If the defense can uh, now they step it up defense. right here. There is the kick. It's high. It's short, though, at about the eight yard line. Good job. And a nice job to defense that as Boys brought that back, and he was brought down at the 22 yard line. Now you got to play good defense. 504 to go in the game. A lot of time left. Both teams with all three of their timeouts. Lake Catholic has it first and 10 at their own 22. Here's a handoff. And right down immediately is Josh Stiles. Buckler on the stop. 22 carries, 110 yards for Josh Stiles tonight. He's been the workhorse. Seen limited action from Greg Thomas tonight. There's pass, a fake pass. handoff. Trinetti throws wide open. wide open is Gibbons, and Gibbons gets the first down, gets knocked out of bounds. So two good things happen there for the Cougars. They got the first down, and they stopped the clock. So Gibbons, very well-designed play. You see Gibbons coming out of the backfield Counter there. Counterplay, yep. Counter pass. Yep, and... Good blocking up there by Brant. So there is a quick hitter across the. Oh, intercepted. intercepted. He overthrew Brant and intercepted by the Crusaders coming up with the football. Let's see if we can figure out who that was. That was that was uh, Borland, uh, Boron with the interception and he caught that on the ground coach I think let's see here yep he's on laying on the ground there almost falling down and Boron with the interception and the Crusaders are in business again see if they can take some time off the clock here 416 is on the clock it's all that remains here So they're going to go four receivers in the pattern again. Two wide, two near. Anderson in the backfield. Here is Talkington. Talkington takes it to about midfield, picks up two. Talkington on the keeper. What a ball game we've had here tonight between these two teams. Crusaders and the Cougars. A win by the Crusaders would give them a ton of points because 
Mentor Lake Catholic, two divisions ahead of them. That's always good to get some Stand points box. like that. Yep. And there is a running play by Talkington. Stays in bounds and clock continues to roll. He got it to the 45 of Mentor Lake Catholic. And here you go, coach. You just kind of take your time, methodical. Too bad you don't have a clock where you could tell the time. <laughs> I know, you just basically have to look at the back judge. Back judge, when he puts his hand up, what's yep. it, five seconds left, if yep. I remember correctly? Yep. So that's what uh, I'm sure that Jack Talkington will. Now what? They're going to rehuddle. They don't want a penalty here. Oh, okay. They're going to maybe let it run down and call a timeout right. here. Put his, put his hand up. Okay. Yep. Five seconds. All so right. Trucker says timeout. So timeout on the field. Hey, don't forget to stick around at the end of tonight's ball game. We'll have our Altman Health Foundation player of the game. Elmer and Derek and Bob and I will talk about it and pick one of these young men who put forth a, quite an effort tonight, and there have been many, and we will pick our player of the game, brought to you by Altman and the Altman Health Foundation. Do you listen to Pam Cook and Canton's Morning News? If not, why not? It's the best way to start your your work day or your school day. Pam has news, weather, sports, up to the minute traffic reports, entertainment, interviews, and so much more. 530 on 1480 WHBC and on WIVM Digital Cable 989. It airs from 6 to 8 in the morning. So with 240 to go in the ball game, Crusaders have it. Here's Talkington going to run it, and go. Oh, he picks up the first down. What a play. <laughs> it was no, no one was going to stop him there, Coach. <laughs> he put his head down and says, I'm getting that first down. And they're running it to the left. Yeah. And they're running to the left. They've had success Yep, going that way. Couldn't do much on the right. But, uh, yeah, that left side, they found a little uh, something over there. And now the Crusaders will make... Lake Catholic use their timeouts. The clock will roll to 13 and counting. And you can bet Jack Talkington is going to have his eyes right on that back judge. And as soon as he raises his hand, he might call for the football. But until then, they are going to wait. And there's the snap. Talkington going to keep. Has running room. Takes it inside the 35 to the 32-yard line. Huge gain on first down. So Lake Catholic's going to take a timeout. They're second, and they've got one left. So great job there by the Crusaders. A big play on first down. Pick up seven yards. And now you've got a couple of plays just to get three yards. Now, now if you're gutsy, you do a play action. Oh, now, you're, now you're coming around. No, 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 no. I said if you're gutsy. If you're gutsy, all right. Yeah, if you're gutsy. All right. I, I, Derek, you hear that? I, I heard that. He, and <laughs> Coach got me laughing down here. <laughs> if you're gutsy. If you're gutsy. You nev hey, never, never question trucker, right? Yeah, uh, you never know. No, it, they got to run it to keep the clock going. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I can Make see a rollout or something, but maybe just unless it's an absolutely safe pass, but no, <laughs> I don't think he's going to do that. So here we go. Second and three, 153 to go in the ball game. And you know what? Why not? There he goes. Jack Talkington, 33 yards, touchdown. Put it in the hands hey, Michael. of your best player. <laughs> and Jack Talkington has put the reverbial nail on the coffin. Yeah. And he was celebrating the whole way. 
with a big smile on his face. Oh, the upright blocks that one. And that one falls straight back. So 20 to 10, he still has to score twice. Two though. score game. With a minute 46. A minute 46 and pretty good shape, you think? Central, eh, pretty good shape. Not it's Pretty never good. over till it's over. That's right. That's right. And then what Yogi Berra said? Yogi Berra. Berra. Oh. Yeah. I thought you meant the guy no, in Yellowstone <laughs> or Flintstone not, not or whatever. The, not, the car <laughs> not the cartoon character. Him no. and Boo Boo. Yeah. <laughs> that was uh, listening to an interview, uh, something on uh, on the internet of Yogi Berra, and he says, you know, I would say things because I, wouldn't, I never thought it was going to be funny. I yeah. just said it. <laughs> <laughs> there were some great lines. Yeah. So the Crusaders now will tee it up. Minute 46 remaining in this one. And the ball is a one hopper. I did the 25 did yard line. Mordica and he is brought down immediately. So Antonio Mordica with the return. Not much there, but the Cougars need some points and they need them quick. We have that scoring drive. Coach, you want to give us that? Okay, number of plays five, time of possession 230. 52 yards, a 32 yard run by Talkington, extra point no good. Central 20, Mentor Catholic 10. Talkington 18 carries, 121 yards, two TDs. Mm. There is a long throw and this one. He caught that? Oh my, he did. Oh my goodness. Took it away from the defensive back that time, Coney, and it is a first down. What a catch. Brandt comes down with it. Benetti gonna throw. This one is picked off. That one was right to Boy. the defender that time. That kid played that really well. He did. He ran with the out man and then sunk back on the, in, in the intermediate cut. Played it perfect. Yep, and Andrew Neal coming up with the interception. You can see Andrew right there just kind of floated back and said, nope. That's a great, that just, that's football knowledge. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's, just, that's not coaching, that's football knowledge. <laughs> so that one might have sealed it. A minute 19 to go in the ball game. Central up by 10, and here comes Talkington out to the huddle. Wonder who's going to carry it here. <laughs> Bob, would you make a prediction? <laughs> Tell you what I would do. <laughs> we know what you would do. <laughs> Bob tells us Mentor Lake Catholic has had three turnovers in the last seven minutes, all here in this fourth quarter. So the Crusaders going to talk it over now with uh, Coach Linda Smith, the rest of the crew, as they get ready to come back out here. Derek Philo, you're down there somewhere. Let's uh, check in with you real quick. As uh, I know, uh, at the end of this ball game, you'll catch up with uh, with Trucker. And uh, but uh, your thoughts on the performance thus far? Okay. Well, we don't hear Derek. There is a fall down, fall down, fall down. And he does. He falls down. And fall down. Fall down. Jack Clark could do a stop at number 15, Patrick Radigan. We'll 
Try to get Derek here again. I don't know where we're all plugged in, right, Coach? Mm -hmm. So that's the last time out. A minute and 11 remain. Derek, I don't know if you uh, are back yet. Let's see, can we uh, get an audio check from you? Nope, nothing yet. He's huh? on the other side. Is that him? Yeah, he's right here. Oh, he's right down here. Hmm. Try to get him straightened out. Boy, this is a big win for Central. Big, 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 big win. So the Crusaders now going to go in that victory formation. And Talkington will take a knee. And well, Menor Lake Catholic going to take their last time out. I thought that was their last before, but they now take their last time out. So 106 to go in the ball game. So, Coach, uh, big win for Central tonight. Going to pick up some, some good points uh, for them. You play a team that's two divisions uh, bigger than you. That's yeah. always a plus. <laughs> yeah. And uh, when you, like I said, when I first started, we started talking about this, you know, Central playoffs are the important thing. And yeah. the higher you get, the, the better chance you have of winning. Yep. And you play There's teams. No question. You play teams like this. And yeah. that's what... Uh, that's what gets you into the playoffs. Teams like this, wins like this, doesn't get much easier for Central. I mean, they certainly, uh, you know, they've got they've got a juggernaut of a of a schedule. They play uh, away at East Liverpool next week. They got Jackson away. We'll be doing that ball game here on uh, on the TV side, and then uh, mm, well, we don't know about St. Thomas at the end of the season. So if they're going to have a season, yeah. So uh, they've got to they've got to win out. And because uh, they don't get anything week 10 if they don't play that ball game. So that's important for them to uh, to do something here. And uh, we hope that uh, they can play. Well, this is over. And this one is going to wind down. There's a couple of knees there. Both these teams will Good football game. line up. Good Shake football. hands. Yeah, Good it was football a game. great football game here tonight. Is Central going to win? This one 20 to 10. As you see there, the final score on our CKP heating and cooling scoreboard. Central 20 and Lake Catholic 10. We'll take a timeout and come back right after this. When struggles seem too tough, when sickness takes a hold, when cancer picks a fight, when baby's on its way, when life throws you a curveball, we've got you. With nearly 130 years in your backyard, Altman knows you and knows your community better than anyone. We're your neighbors, your friends, your family, and we want you to be the healthiest you can be. Altman, we are ready. We've got you. Sarda has two new ways to pay. With the tap to pay cards, reload and use the Sarter scorecard over and over. It's secure, convenient, orderly, reloadable, and economical. Perfect for frequent riders. Or choose the temporary, limited use Sarter touchdown card. It's better for occasional riders. They're the two most modern ways to tap your way to everywhere. And they're both from Sarta. At Friends and Family Credit Union, you, the members, are the owners. Our friendly staff serves over 11,000 members, assisting with their financial needs and bettering their lifestyles. Hi, I'm Gina, President and CEO of Friends and Family Credit Union, where we provide loans, savings, checking, and other financial services to anyone who lives, works, worships, or attends school in Stark County. Are you looking for something different? Stop in today to become a friend of the family. CKP Heating and Cooling is the go-to name for heating, cooling, and more. 
Local owners Chaz and Ty want to thank the community for their business and support. For heating, cooling, refrigeration, boiler work, sheet metal, custom fabrication, and more, go with CKP. Call 330-791-3029 or visit them online at ckphvac.com. Saturday Morning Huddle with Kenny Rhoda, Billy Beebe, and the WHBC sports team. Um, whole grain brown rice. It's stuff that you really don't necessarily eat normally, but you eat that three hours before game time. That will be lasting throughout the game, or at least a lot okay. of it during the game. And okay. that's the difference between going home and eating potato chips or what have you. Catch us live on the WHBC Facebook page, the WHBC YouTube channel, and WHBC.com. WHBC Sports, it's more than just the game. And welcome back here to Canton Central Catholic High School, where tonight the Crusaders, a big win tonight, 20-10. to 10. Derek Philo had a chance to catch up with winning coach Jeff Linda Smith. Derek Philo here uh, with trucker Linda Smith. Coach, great win here. I mean, uh, against a team that uh, you guys were toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe with at the very beginning. Yeah, they're a good football team. Yeah. We, we weren't fooled by their record. We knew they could play some football. They've had a rugged schedule. We hung tough. It was a nice second half for us. Yeah, I mean, we kept talking about that the whole broadcast. Is you guys were uh, uh, playing a team that was very similar to you, um, but but you got to give it to your defense. They they kept. I think they kept you in the game. Oh, absolutely. We, yeah, they did. They played a great second half. We got them to convert, or not convert on third downs. They were killing us in the first half. But uh, our kids hung tough. We talk about playing four quarters all the time, and sometimes we get beat up, and uh, we hung tough. We learned some lessons from our first uh, six games, and. It's awfully nice to get one. Yeah, I mean, uh, you got to talk about Jack Talkington here. Uh, you know, the, he, good players do good things, and uh, he showed up here in the second half. He did. He was frustrated first half. He missed some reads. He was rushing himself a little bit, uh, and uh, he came through for us in the second half. We put the ball in his hands at times. He told me, Coach, I can run the ball a little yep. bit, and that ankle felt good, so we did it, and off he did. He made some big plays for us. There you go. Coach, great win tonight. Good luck next week. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming yep. out. Yep. All right, Derek, thank you so much. Thank you to Coach Trucker Linda Smith for joining us here in the post game, and uh, the other coach up here, Elmer Sheets. Uh, what a ball game tonight! Good win by the Crusaders, and you've got some numbers there to tell us all about it. The final stats for Lake Catholic: 141 yards rushing uh, for Central Catholic, 194 passing yards, 147 for Lake, 98 for Central. First downs: 14 for Lake. Uh, 19 for Central Catholic. Total yards, 288 for Menor Lake Catholic, 292 for Central. The, probably one of the biggest statistics here is Menor Lake Catholic, three turnovers, Central Catholic, zero. And penalties, 11 uh, for 90 yards for Menor and two for 15 yards for Central Catholic. Individually speaking, for the visitors from Mentor, uh, Frankie Trinetti, uh, he was 12 for 21, 147 yards, but two interceptions. Josh Stiles had 22 rushes, 110 yards. Aiden Fitzgerald had four catches for 53 yards. For the victorious uh, uh, Canton Crusaders, uh, Jack Talkington was 11 for 21, 94 yards, and one TD. Uh, rushing attempts, Jack Talkington, 19 rushes. 133 yards in two TDs. Alexander's, Alex Anderson had nine rushes for 60 yards. Catches, James Kane had four catches for 42 yards, and Alex Anderson had three for 29 yards. Well, it all adds up to a Canton Central Catholic win tonight by a score of 20 to 10. As we take a look now at our rock solid play of the game, brought to you by Friends and Family Credit Union, you see the strip there from Cooney and the Crusaders get the football back. It led to the go-ahead touchdown, and uh, that was a huge play for the Crusaders. That is our <laughs> Friends and Family rock-solid play of the game. And, well, there's no doubt tonight that our Altman Health Foundation player of the game has to go to the one and the only Jack Talkington. That young man tonight, 11 of 21, 94 yards and one touchdown. 
And he had 19 carries, 133 yards, two touchdowns. That one as he gallops into the end zone, as you see there, for one of his two on the ground. And there is the second one as Talkington puts the bow on this one tonight. And the Crusaders will win this one and improve to 4-3 and three on the season. But more importantly, Coach, a big win over a team that uh, they needed some uh, computer points from, and they got it tonight. Frank, I may be prejudiced, but that young man has to be a candidate for the MVP of the county. He does it all. Yeah, he sure does. He, he, and he does it well. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> he is, and he certainly is well-deserving of our player of the game here tonight. So that'll do it for us, as you see there on our K, uh, CKP scoreboard, as uh, we want to thank the fine young folks from Image Video down in the truck who do a great job with us every week. Thank you so much to those guys. For our guy down on the sideline, Derek Philo, does a fantastic job. Bob Jeffries up here in the booth and my partner, the color guy extraordinaire, Coach Elmer Sheets. Thank Elmer. you so much. This is Frank Salona saying good night and have a great weekend, everybody. Canton Central Catholic, a big win tonight, 20-10. to 10. <laughs>